What's up, guys? It's Mega Mouth Games here for another video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this video was pre recorded. I'm doing the voice um, after the fact. Actually, my wife was making fun of me for saying uh, uh and um too much, so I'm going to try and do better about that. But I did get a better microphone, so hopefully, the audio will be better. And I recorded in HD, so um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, since I'm just watching myself play, I can talk a little bit more and it's a little quieter in the house. So we'll see how things go. But, uh, you know, looking around on YouTube, I see a lot of the most popular Total War videos are the Rome 2, the Warhammers on my to buy list. That looks, that looks pretty dope. But Empire, you don't really see too much Shogun, which is unfortunate because I'm having a lot of fun playing it. And it looks great. And I was shocked to see that it actually came out in 2011, I believe. I mean, when you crank the settings up on the game, the graphics and such, everything just looks phenomenal. So the boys at Total War did a, a pretty bang up job on this game. But anyway, this, um, I was kind of trying to gather my strength because my first playthrough, I made the mistake of going down the Bushido route instead of uh, the Zen, I think it is. So I had this like North Korea like state, super strong, but my boys didn't have any food. So yeah, the game became unplayable because all the rebellions. But uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. Also, when you're playing up north in the map, there's not much trade, trade points. And the distance between towns is really far, so getting started is uh, not as easy as starting out in the central and south parts. part of this game I really like is the naval combat. They have the different ship classes and I hadn't, I hadn't played any other Total War games that had any naval combat so these are pretty cool. I mean they could they could have some improvements but as a guy who's never experienced it I'm pretty pleased with it. My bad about that pause. I was I think I was answering my phone at the time. My bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. like the naval warfare mechanics I think they should um, well they could have beefed it up a bit I'm playing the vanilla version so there might be some mods somewhere but I think the defenders could have put up more of a fight here I mean if the difficulty was bumped up it'd be a little bit different but um, well, anyway I don't think my boys even got on the ship before they surrendered Now, 
if you look at that map, you see that there's only the one trade node up there in the north, and the the provinces are large. So it's the area is big, but there's not much income, and the distances are far away. So I guess if you're used to playing like a defensive strategy, uh, it's cool, I guess. But I always like to do I try, I try to play more aggressive. Um, but yeah, so like if you're if you're starting out in the south or in the center parts, that strategy pays off more. But for this part in the north, I don't know. It seems like the best way to move troops is um, by your with your navy. But eh, we'll see. We'll see. What What I did learn from my lesson from my first playthrough is to keep your economy growing, um, get your your income up because even like for a minor unit, the, in, the upkeep on like some of these were like what 68, 135 per turn. That's kind of a lot. So keeping the income growing and the food supply, that's really what got me in the last playthrough. Keep that food supply up so you can build up the fortresses. その いつでも戦いますぞ。殿の命ずるままに。Gotta get that equal fields, that's what killed me in the last place for Here's that part about the uh, law, the large distances that uh, make playing as the north difficult. A navy would be helpful, but I can't really afford the upkeep right now since I want to stay on top of my construction. But that navy will come into play in a bit. And here's my first mistake was moving this uh yeah this fleet out of there because you know, I was getting too antsy and pantsy and somebody swoops in there and grabs that trade node.
ご勘弁を進みまする突き申した This unarmed ship should be used solely. Commander, please accept it. It's not possible. I'm sorry. 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 Yeah, so here I kind of settled on the strategy of uh, using the Navy to ferry my guys around, but yeah, you could, they can only be picked up from the dock, I believe. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to gather my forces because I figure I'm in for a big fight. Oh no. And see, there you go. They already swooped in and stole that trade node from me. Fast moving this Koe no itari ni zonjimasu Tono go meire o Tono no meizuru mama ni Tono Alright, finally. It took long enough, but now we're ready for our expedition. And uh, I think, yeah, I went looking for somewhere closer. I guess to their province and then I end up having to backtrack to find uh, up an appropriate beach but well you know you learn as you go. Tunnel. 
まだ風はありますぞ。お疲れします。新しい頃に備えています。様皆の者出航用意名誉と栄光のために冒険と栄光へ向けて冒険と栄光へ向けて殿ご勘弁を名誉と栄光のために I didn't declare war on them just then because I didn't want them having an extra turn to prepare for it. Uh, I end up kind of having my hands full if I remember right. But uh, yeah, this, as you can see on the map, it looks like they got allies and they got some, they got some extensive lands. And their lands are probably richer than mine too, so I don't want to buy up one that I can chew too early. Speak and do not mumble. Honesty and clarity. You know, now that I think about it, I don't really, for some of this, I don't really have to do too much commentary. I could just do commentary at the beginning of the video, at the end of the video. Like I said, I'm new to this, so if anybody has any suggestions, I, you know, hit me up. Or if there's any, uh, maybe some tutorial videos or something somebody could uh, recommend, I'm all ears for that too. This guy has some good troops too. I was a little nervous about this, hence the quick save. But uh, look at that balance of power there. That's that's a lot closer than I like to play it, especially you know for a, a pretty new player. But I think I did pretty good. I couldn't really decide how I wanted to do my guys, if I wanted to put them on the open field or if I wanted to try and squeeze them onto this hill. Just generally, um, I found that when I try and put my guys defensively on a hill, 
the enemy will do the same and then they won't budge and then I'll have to get my guys down to go and uh, root them up off of their hill so um, anyway I end up going with a hill strategy since things didn't really work out like that bundle of trees there in the center uh, would have shielded guys from my archers they could have put their archers up on this hill to the right and then could have peppered my guys up so I just went ahead and eventually after I quit screwing around here put my guys up on that hill I'm figuring it out now. Give me some patience. Watch him. Watch him. Yeah, see? I see. It doesn't really make sense. So, go with the hill. You'll love to see that overlapping field of fire right there. So hopefully would you know with a setup like that would try to zero in on their archers first and whittle them down before switching to the higher value troops like the samurai which would cut up my uh my yari spearman guys the yari yashi Kari. yeah those guys And then like I like what always happens when I'm cautious, they get aggressive. And here they come with that uh with that light cavalry. Yeah, going for my archers. And then things kind of uh, spiral out of control uh, because of that cavalry charge. And the battle plan goes out the window now and then it turns into a brawl. Our hidden units have been discovered, my lord.
Now I've learned to try to be careful when matching up the Ashigaru with Samurai since the Samurai are superior. So yeah, you try to be careful, but you know, sometimes you just you gotta do what you gotta do. They'll buy you some time at the very least. Our general is in great danger, my lord! My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours! Alright, that was a lot messier than I would have liked, but uh, the job is done. 
Fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. So I lost a lot of guys, but uh, I'm still in the very beginning of this war, which is less than optimal. And it was late and I was tired, so I just auto resolved these battles. Alright, and that's a pretty good stopping point. Um, yeah, so I guess every big battle, every major achievement, I'll, I will, yeah, cut it off and make a new video. But anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.